body dysmorphia. It's something a lot of people have within the fitness community in some shape or form. Because the most basic form of it is just not being happy with your body. Because you're like, okay, I want to improve this about myself. And it isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it gets to a bad point when you're considering you are not making enough progress for yourself or you set or you want to be like, okay, I want to reach this, but I'm not good enough. I'm not. And you'll get into this depressive mindset. You shouldn't do that. Let me quick, uh, start with a quick story of mine before we get into the great content, into the um, into thick of it all. Um, I used to have some form of body dysmorphia. I hated be uh, I hated the idea of becoming fat. I didn't want to become fat, and I had uh, I had a really really fast metabolism, so I didn't even have to think about that problem. But every time I felt bloated because I ate too much, or I just I felt a bit bloated, even though I was still skinny as hell. I thought to myself, oh shit, maybe I'll gain weight for the first time. Oh no, I don't want to gain weight. And I just didn't eat. I just stopped eating for a day. It's, or I ate like the m most little portions you can possibly think of. I ate one apple through an entire day. I was eating absolutely nothing. Because, I wa because that was my fear of becoming something I didn't want to. And I see this with a lot of people now. They don't want to become fat, they don't to stop eating. So they're thinking, oh no, I uh, have to stop eating. But it isn't a way to solve your problem. It's the same way, oh, I don't, I'm uh, afraid I'll lose my muscle, so I need to start eating more, and then you'll become fat. Or you're, not af you're afraid to lose your gains, so you're going to take steroids. These aren't solutions to your problems. You need to think, okay, I want to achieve this, maybe I'll, I need to work a little harder. Oh, I need to change my diet a bit. And start being happy with your progress because you're doing amazing. Just start compu competing with your previous self. Okay, let's see what I've achieved uh, in comparison to last month. Oh, I've done. I've gone to the gym two more times than I used to go. I didn't eat any McDonald's, so I was eating uh, healthier. Oh, I was taking all these steps. Oh, damn! I've actually did some great pro things. I've done some progress, and it doesn't just have to be fitness progress. It can be any progress you're making. Oh, I went one, one time less to the gym because I had a meeting, but I've done all this for my business. Oh, damn, I'm making great progress. So even though I slacked a bit on the gym, I'll make sure to fix that this month. If you look at your problems and you think about it this way, in a way of, oh, let me compare me to my previous self instead of comparing me to the perfect picture I want to be, then you will have le you'll be less likely to get these thoughts, these depressing thoughts and these thoughts of, oh shit, am I good enough? Is this good enough? Because you're thinking about your progress. You're thinking about what have I done compared to the previous me and have I actually improved myself? So let's say you uh, didn't go to the gym and you ate uh, McDonald's two times um, um, a week. But now you've started going to the, to the gym more. Oh damn, I've made that progress. Okay, let's see what I want to do this month. Okay, I want to go eat less McDonald's ne the month after. Oh damn, I've eaten uh, one time a week less McDonald's. That means you're doing great things. You're actually improving, even though you, it may not feel like it. But you're improving by a lot because you're doing great things. Maybe even take progress photos. Oh damn, I'm looking far better than I used to be. Or... Oh, I got a little bit less uh, good than it used to be, but I gained some weight because I wanted to bulk. So I've actually, uh, imp uh, I've actually gotten closer to my goal. If you think about it this way, everything will become far more positive because you're comparing yourself to the previous self. And because you're always improving, if you're always working on yourself, it means it can only be positive. Because that's what you're doing, you're working on yourself. So... You're always better than your previous self as long as you keep working. And let's say you've worked a little bit less, but if you're still if you're still going to the gym once a week, that means you're still better than the previous uh, version of yourself one month ago who didn't go those four, four times because he simply didn't have the time. He wasn't there in, in time yet. So you're always improving compared to your previous self. Isn't that great to think about? You're always better as long as you're trying to improve in any aspect of your life. You're always better than who you were previously.
isn't that a great feeling? So that was one I wanted to talk about, about don't get yourself down for these kinds of things because you're doing amazing and keep up the great work. So thank you guys for watching, work hard, stay hard, and I'll see you guys next time, goodbye.